You're listening to the Experience Pros Radio Show, where business revolutionaries Angel Tussey and Eric Raymer, best selling authors of lists that save my business, and founders of Experience Pros University, are inspiring you to get your business right. Let's join Angel and Eric for today's program. Welcome to the Experience Pros Radio Show with Angel and Eric. Thank you for joining us today. We appreciate you. I, I got a little bone to pick with you, Missy. Me? Y- yeah, you. Uh, there must be somebody else in the room you're talking to. You need to lay that down. <laughs> I need to lay, well, I'm going to lay this down. Hey, what's up with you not wanting to do the high five? We always start the show with a high five. It's flu flu prevention. Flu, flu prevention? Flu prevention. Didn't you hear? Are you, are you flu shy saying don't bother me? I wish. Yeah. I wish. But there's all this yicky crud going around. That was good. Um and, you know, several years ago, my kids came home, and you, know, you used to sneeze. You used to cover your mouth when you sneeze and cough, right? That, <laughs> yes. That was what we were taught. No, no, no. Don't put your hands anywhere near your mouth. Now we what you do? now we do the, the Dracula, and you kind of oh, sneeze into your, into your elbow. Yeah, into your elbow, your arm, yeah. your shoulder, you can, your whole. If you can sneeze into your shoulder, you're, uh, you. I can do that. I can, wow. I can do that. But My no. nose gets stuck about No, no, no. I can bicep. reach. I can reach. And so now, now the whole high five thing yeah. and shaking hands, right. people are really phobic about germs. And so now no more high fiving. <laughs> Well, and that, we can't even a, apparently knuckle you can't bump. Fist bump. No. Why? We well, I'm not going to fist bump elbows. you anyways. Look at that rock you got on there. I know. I, I'm not this doing is that. why we wear rings. It's danger. Because you boys come up and you think you're going to be all tough and you're going to. Like, Boom. And we're like, all right, bring Drop it. it to your knees. Go ahead. Yeah. So now you want to do the elbow bump? I know, and that's just ridiculous. It is. At some point. Just wash your hands. Go to the University of I mean, Ridiculosity. Isn't, isn't that, you know, we've all got our little anti-back yeah. everywhere around Charlie's, the offices. Charlie's all it on right now, but he's doing it over the uh, board. All bases have antibacterial. And so, you know, Charlie's wash actually doing this. your hands. Angel. And if you, I know, Charlie's anti-backing right and, now. And if it, my voice sometimes cuts out, because Charlie oh, it's built. Yeah, yeah, Charlie, Char- Charlie did board. that. So, but here's the thing. You've, you're really you're in the, the bathroom. The public restroom, and everybody's in their little private quarters. That's your first mistake. You know, you're in your private quarters. Stop doing you that You hear publicly. somebody leave, and they leave the Oh, my gosh. That is, like, the grossest thing ever. Oh, yeah, they, without, Wash without washing your hands. your hands. What about those? That's uh, all you have to do. What about those what is the toilet aversion? seat covers? Do those prevent the flu? You know those paper toilet seat covers? Does we're talking about hands. We're talking that, about hands here. The same? <laughs> no, we're not. We're talking about hands You're here. You're talking to me. We're going to the toilet seat covers. We're talking hands. I want to know, is it the same box since 1962? No. I, I think I, it might be because I don't think, I've never seen, well. We're like willing to like change all of our behaviors and do yeah. all new mannerisms. Right. And all it would take, a little soap, and it smells so good, your hands are all clean. Do you clean. use the toilet seat covers? I'm talking about hands. I know, I know, but hands. I, do you put, put your, your hands up where okay. I can see them. Do you put when your hands on the When was the last time covers? you washed your hands? This morning. Okay, so tell me this: Do you go to work when you're sick, or do you stay home? I stay home. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> Why are you looking at me? I can't get you to you like go on suspicion. vacation or take on a day the... off. But if I'm sick, I stay home. How often am I sick? I know. I, yeah, I don't see, know. It's hard to find the time. Uh, no, I, I will go to work if I'm not feeling a hundred percent. I know. So where you know where's the you know at what point? Because here's a lot of times. By the time you miserable. know, by the time you're there, miserable. You've already been contagious. You've been contagious yeah. two days before. So when you're just kind of feeling tired or you're just kind of feeling achy, which frankly, aren't we all every day? You're staring down at your computer, your tense, whatever. How can you decipher them by the time you you even are ick? Yeah, I yeah, think the answer to this question lies in the hands. toilet seat cover. I'd like to know, do you use the toilet seat cover? You know that I paper, like the soap that cover? foams like right when you yeah. pump it out. Like it's, see, it comes out foaming. If I walk foamy. in and I see a toilet seat that leads, says I need a cover, and I, I like say, you know what, I can wait. my soap to my decor in my bathroom. You match your soap to your Yeah, decor. the color of the soap or maybe even the fragrance and sometimes the brand. How does a fragrance so, match a decor? like in my powder bathroom, I have a little French thing wait a going. Whoa, whoa, so, time out. You used an excessive word. What is a powder bathroom? Well, like the, the bathroom that doesn't have a shower or a tub. It's just That's a, a commode bathroom? and a sink. Yeah, on the main floor. A commode. I know. You have a commode. <laughs> oh, I've been asking the wrong question. Do you use commode seat covers? 
it's got a, a Paris theme, a little French Parisian theme. So I like to buy soap that has like a, a Parisian or French brand to it. Are you being honest with me right now? What do you mean am I being honest? I'm you don't like, believe me that I buy French soap? I'm Is that going like to out call on in my limb? legal counsel. Justin Vaughn will be here in the next segment. We're going to find out if Angel's being 100% truthful. Nothing but the truth. So help her, God. The Experience Pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com.